everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. I'm going to preface this with letting you know and apologize ahead of time that I am in a super crappy mood um, because I had to go to the store today and I had said that yesterday I had to pick up some things. My mom had some things I had to get. She asked me to go all day because some of the stuff was cheaper there and I have to go to Walmart just because they didn't have certain things I needed at Aldi, which was fine. It is a Wednesday, okay? Just want to put that out there. And it, is, it was like 11.30 when I got to Aldi. I swear that everyone that lives in my town was at the Aldi today. And I'm not even joking. There was almost no carts to get. And I understand Aldi does their new ads on Wednesday. But I've never seen so many people on a Wednesday at Aldi before. And... It was like everyone in town was here and they all wanted to BS with each other. There were so many people stopped in the aisles, blocking the whole aisle, just talking to each other. Down every aisle I went. Like, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen, I've never seen so many people just, just talking to each other. And I know some people might be like, Kitty, it's probably because you're in a bad mood right now that you're just upset. <laughs> and it could be. But like, I'm I'm not super social. I, ha I deal, and if you're new here and you don't know, I deal with some, some pretty bad anxiety on some days. And some days my social anxiety is bad. There are days where I can be fine and go out. And there are days where I am just so anxious. And if there are people close to me or around me or like trying to talk to me, it could make me feel sick to my stomach and make me not want to go out. And I, I do struggle with that. Um, I try not to to I try to just go out and do what I have to do but like everybody else in the world I'm a human being and I'm sure there's lots of days where not everybody's all happy and cheery when they want to go out I mean 90% of the time I'm not happy and cheery <laughs> I'm I mean it's just I'm not a bubbly person but I and I'm sorry I'm, I'm gonna say it's gonna be a vent I just I can't I need someone to vent to I already was I was telling my mom on the phone when I was there but like it is um it was very it was very frustrating and very overwhelming to be in there with all those people. Um, and, you know, I expect there to be a lot of people in the store with Christmas and everything. What I don't expect is everybody to just stop and block aisles. And they see you trying to come down and they don't care because they're asking people if they like that brand of paper towel. And that's fine and great if you want some information on something somebody's buying. But maybe move your cart so I can get down because I don't care how the paper towels are. You know, I don't know. I just, and then like I'm in line and I also ever, even before COVID and the pandemic, I have always been the kind of person that if you have a cold, I'm 90% likely going to get it. I have a crap immune system. So like a lot of the time, especially when I was a kid and when the kids started going to school and I was older, I always get sick. Always. <laughs> and so like I masked probably a lot longer than people. I was very scared of getting sick. So now that like flu season is among us, people are going out like it's no big deal. And uh, they're standing so damn close to each other in the store, it's uncomfortable. Like I said, and even before pandemic and all, I, with my social anxiety, I don't want people I don't know like super close to me to begin with. But the man in line behind me was like so close to me, I felt like he was trying to get inside my clothes with me. And like, to the point where I felt very uncomfortable, like, bro, I just am trying to pay for my goods. Could you back up just a little? So that was very, like, it was very overwhelming for me. I just, <sighs> I'm sorry. And like I said, I hate starting the vlog off like this today. It's just, I've had a very anxious day. And this probably wasn't the best day to go out for me when I'm in this mindset. But, you know, I'm an adult and I have to do things and it, it can't always be on how I feel. And I just figured I'd soldier on and go to the store today. But, like, I was not expecting to be so triggered <laughs> once I went. <sighs> you guys, how, let me know how you guys do with shopping. Um, and even if you don't like suffer from anxiety, does it just drive you nuts when everyone in town is just bah, 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 and you just want to get in and out of the store? Like, I don't want to talk to everybody. <laughs> I don't know. 
But anyway, so yeah, I went to Aldi and I had to get my mom a couple things and now I am going into Walmart to get the things I need and I'm praying to God <laughs> that I can be in and out and nobody's going to try to talk to me or, you know, stop in front of me and just frustrate me. Um, I am honestly considering starting to just wear headphones when I go shopping because it's so, I can put myself somewhere else. <sighs> yeah. So that's where we're at today, everybody. It got to the point where I felt like I was going to vomit because I was so anxious. So I got a drink when I was in there. But yeah. Anyways, yeah, let me know how you deal with that. And uh, like my mom, my mom gets very anxious. That is why I do her grocery shopping. She's much worse than me with her anxiety with that. Um, she just gets frustrated and doesn't want to go out. Um, that's why she gets grocery delivery. Uh, and she always tells me, especially when I have times like this, just just get grocery delivery but I, I can't for you know just little things but yeah so I'm gonna go to Walmart hopefully calm down a little bit more and uh, I'll be back okay I'm at Walmart a little bit calmer there wasn't too many people in there which was nice nobody bothered me so I spent $38 I didn't want to spend $38 but I did I was looking at nails in there too, and they had some cute ones, but they're really short, and I don't wear like the really short ones. I got mascara because I was putting it on this morning, and I have like nothing left, so I got that. Um, I got goldfish for Chris because I forgot last time. I got soup for lunch. I've been eating these a lot. I got two of the chili ones and one of the teriyaki beef. A lot of times I get sick of eating the uh, frozen dinners. Gross. They don't have the ones I like, so I got these because I'm like coconut cherry. Ooh. Figure me and my mom would like those. And then Chris liked these, so I got him a box of those. I don't know if I'll put them in a stocking or give them to him. Now, sometimes he told me the other day, sometimes he watches my videos, and I'm like, oh. I'm thinking, have I showed anything I got him? I hope not. They don't have Christmas coffee creamer, so I had to get this, which is fine, but like. It's the 13th. We should still have Christmas creamer. I got the kids salami. And another package of cheese. And uh, that was it. $38. That's very expensive. It's very expensive $38. So I am going to go back to my mom's house now. And get gas. Should probably get gas. She got Walmart Plus, so it's a little bit cheaper. Usually, when I go to the uh, bigger town that's further away from us, they have a lot of people and it's super busy. Not usually over here, because you know where I live is not as busy. But I don't know why everybody's out today. It's not like a Social Security payday or anything like that. And like I said, I know. Christmas and all, but still, it's like 12. I don't know. It's just me complaining. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Well, I'm going to try to remember to do Advent with the kids today since I keep forgetting. That's horrible. That I always forget. And then, uh, yeah. Chicken stir fry for dinner tonight. I think that is what we're going to have. And I don't know what we'll do with the kids later. I'm kind of all sweeted out with, like, Megan's stuff after Megan Lily's cake yesterday. So, We'll see. They can decorate the little tree if they want. That'd be a good idea. Yes, I'll be back. Go ahead and open 13. No. Ooh, what is it? What is it? Ooh. Maui? Yeah. Ooh, maybe Gable switch. So, um, everyone's in bed now. It's 10.15. I got the kids to bed like half an hour ago. I try to get them in there by 9.30, but that usually doesn't work out. Um, I did, looks like, oh my, I wiped off part of my makeup. Anyways, I was tired. I started falling asleep on the couch at like 7.45. I was so tired. I think everyone was tired. We had too much birthday yesterday. Uh, Lilith's birthday with the preparations and everything. I was just exhausted. And I was sitting on the couch with Autumn and she was holding my hand and we had a blanket 
and we were watching a, a Christmas show and I started falling asleep and then Chris asked me for something and woke me up and I was like, oh, I hate when I do that. I do not like to take naps. Um, but uh, yeah, so I watched, uh, goodness me, I think it was the family switch up or something. If I remember, I'll put the name, the correct name there. It's on Netflix. Jennifer Gardner and Ed Helms is in it. The family. It's like Freaky Friday. We watched half of that. I'm trying going to try to watch the rest of it with the kids on Sunday, uh, and hopefully we'll get to finish it because it just got started getting too late, and I don't want them to stay up late because they still have school this week. Um, it was cute so far. I mean, it's a family movie. So it's not going to be, you know, ridiculous. The other day, um, on Lilith's birthday, when they were playing the kids, me and my mom, my brother and Chris were watching a movie. Uh, it's on Netflix too. I'm terrible at names. It was like the end of the world or whatever. Julie Roberts is in it and I'll write it on there too. Um, that was weird. Uh, no spoilers, but yeah, I mean, it was a good movie, but it was a weird movie. And, uh, yeah, I just, I was like, it's weird. Um, that's more like my mom's kind of movie than what I would usually watch. Um, I like to watch usually like funny things. But yeah, um, so I've been watching a lot of Netflix the past two days. <laughs> uh, the kids will be done with school. Friday will be the last day and then they'll have their winter break, which I'm really looking forward to because even though they are homeschooled, they want to be done and not get up at, you know, 7 o'clock in the morning. They still get up early when they go to my mom's, but you know. It's not as early. Um, yeah, we had stir fry for dinner. I did not film it when I was making it because I was also trying to do a grocery list with the kids and Autumn de did decorate the little tree. I'll show you a clip of that uh, probably tomorrow because I don't want to have to move the tripod and turn on all the lights. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We were just kind of relaxing and uh, sitting together, which is my favorite thing to do with the kids, just to sit and spend time together. Um, I like when they play and all that stuff. Uh, but I like when we sit and watch movies and things together. I made the kids popcorn and I uh, sprinkled uh, cheddar jalapeno stuff on there. They like that. Um, somebody, and I don't remember if it was in Canada. It might have been in Canada. I know Canada gets different stuff than us. They had dill pickle popcorn seasoning in like the same brand. I don't know what the brand is I use, but it's got a little popcorn guy on it. And uh, Walmart doesn't have that near me. I've looked online and they want like $10 for it. I'm not paying $10 for a tiny little jar of it. Um, so I'm going to try to look and see if maybe somewhere like Food Lion or like a Publix has it. Because those are like, you know, ooh, fancy places where a lot of times Walmart won't carry those things. Because I like dill pickle and I think that'd be good. They have ranch, but ugh, I don't think I could eat ranch on popcorn. I think that's gross. They have buffalo seasoning. And me and Chris do like hot stuff. So I thought about maybe getting that. But I was, ooh, so thrilled because Orville Redenbacher came out with their own too. I was like, wow, so many varieties. Um, and they got a lot of sweet ones too, but I'm like, I really only like kettle corn and like caramel corn. I don't like just the sprinkly stuff you put on it. But yeah, so uh, I'm probably going to head to bed soon because I am very tired. I've been very tired every day. Um, I did, my doctor does have me coming off my migraine medicine, which I also think is making me very tired. Cause my body's trying to get used to like stopping it being so used to it um and i have to stop it slowly uh so i think that's why i'm just like exhausted lately uh but yeah so i'm probably gonna head to bed very shortly with everybody else <laughs> but um i appreciate all you guys watching i hope you're enjoying vlogmas today was day 13 and uh i will see you guys tomorrow have a good night everybody